The Transport Ministry and the Land Public Transport Agency, or APAT, have been urged to ensure ride-hailing services adhere to the same laws and regulation as taxi drivers. Semua pemandu-pemandu taksi harus bangkit mempertahankan kedudukan mereka bagi me, bukan mengugut tapi membantah sehingga ke akhir ayat supaya MOT mengikut arahan Perdana Menteri dengan segera. We want to go all out. After the statement made by Mahathir yesterday, I am clear today. Pakatan Harapan without Anthony Lok and CEO of SPAD, Pakatan Harapan done nothing wrong. The one that have done wrong is the two person. Anthony Lok, I again repeat, CEO of SPAD. Prime Minister Tun Dr Mahathir Mohamad has said Grab would be asked to use vehicles approved by the government and its drivers pay insurance just like cabbies to ensure fair competition. Shamsu Baharin urged taxi drivers throughout the country not to blame Dr Mahathir, but instead blamed the Transport Ministry and the APAD for not carrying out the Prime Minister's instructions. We have accepted Grab. We have never, never said to the government, close Grab. But because of your characters and attitude that conduct by the Ministry of Transportation and SPAT CEO, we have got no choice. We ask the government to, to shut down uh, Grab. We're asking for a fair competition. We're allowed. We never say no. Don't twist our words. Don't twist our meaning. Huh? We allowed all this while. Dulu pun I dah cakap dengan Uber. I allowed. But wait until the rules and regulation come out. He added that he will organise another protest at Padang Merbok on October 24th to call for Lok and Muhammad Azaruddin to execute Dr Mahathir's orders. On Sunday, Dr Mahathir, seeing a group of disruptive taxi drivers walk out over their dissatisfaction with a Grab e-hailing service, said it would be no problem for him if he were to resign today as Prime Minister. This came about as Dr Mahathir was telling them that he would continue to find the best way possible to resolve the issue. Taxi drivers around the country have increasingly been unhappy about Grab, claiming that the e-hailing service was putting a dent to their business. On October 17th, a group of disgruntled taxi drivers held a protest in front of the finance ministry over the same issue.